What's going on everyone? Hope you're doing well. Sarkis here and welcome to another episode of Home Theatre Tours. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and check out my playlist full of epic, unique home theatres. And by you watching till the end of these videos, not only you get to check out these phenomenal rooms, but also you'll be supporting the performance of these videos. In today's home theatre tour, you're going to see over 200 statue and model collectibles and a massive collection of Blu-ray steelbooks. I personally have not seen anything like this before, which also features a full 7.2.4 paradigm setup. But I must warn you, this room is scary, exciting, fun, and has bass that will shake your soul and possibly crack a tooth or two. <laughs> Let's take a look, enjoy. So this home theater room belongs to John from Ontario, Canada. John became a massive home theater nut 30 years ago when he purchased his first Sony ProLogic receiver and his passion for horror movies sparked in 1975 when he went to the opening weekend of the movie Jaws with his father. Throughout the years he fell in love with another hobby and now being a movie memorabilia collector over 20 years, his favorite movies being Terminator 2, Jaws, Aliens and Friday the 13th, he's transformed a basement into a special joint room of both hobbies. Before we take a look, I do have to put this out there just in case. And now, let's check out this incredible home theater room. You better hold on tight. So let's jump straight in as we have a lot to get through. So this space is 21 by 45 feet. When John bought this home, it had already a finished basement. Both bay windows and wall card have blockout curtains, keeping the room pitch dark even during the day with the help of ultra flat black color walls and ceiling paint. As you walk down the stairs, first thing you notice is this awesome steelbook collection, kind of hinting you something scary is coming up. And as you keep walking down, John's bought this custom made sign with a Paradigm logo next to it before entering the basement. Now before I show you guys, there is a lot to get through here. So if I miss a thing or two, make sure you hang around until the end of the video so we can take a closer look at this amazing collection. And bam, how's this for a front stage area? That is epic. As you guys can see, there is a mixture of many different models, still book movies and posters across the entire basement. And here we have a wall of the one and only Get to the Chapa, which I'm loving every model I'm seeing here. Around the bend is the wall of the famous Rambo that we all love, which I'm a massive fan of. Many, many more still book movies up above with a Hulk statue in the corner, which looks badass. And this section of the basement is for chilling out with a 60 inch LG TV paired with two paradigm speakers for shows that are not worthy of a home theater experience. As we look around, I'm sure all you Blade fans out there are going to love this collection of many different weapons. And then the mood changes to horror with these epic statues of mixture of movie characters such as Freddy vs Jason, Aliens, a masterpiece artwork of Jason on the ceiling that was done by an artist that took four days to complete, a crazy looking shark on the wall and a wall of nightmares, which we'll take a look at the end of the video. Now that you have an idea of the room, let's check out his equipment in the basement. We're kicking things off with his front left and right channels John's using these incredible looking Paradigm Studio 100 V5 reference series speakers. 
This 5 driver 3 way floor standing monster has a maximum input power of 230 watts thanks to its 378mm mineral filled cones, a 7 inch SPAL cone, and a 1 inch GPAL dome twitter sitting inside this beautiful, ferrofluid damped and cool die cast heatsink chassis. For his center channel, take a look at this bad boy. This Paradigm Studio C 690V5 three-way speaker is the perfect match generating a maximum input power of 210 watts, weighing in around 31 kilograms and is equipped with the same drivers as his front towers, which is also mounted on the Paradigm J18C speaker stand. The surround channels are a little different, weighing around 6 kilograms. John's mounted these sophisticated speakers on the walls and they are the state-of-the-art Paradigm Millennia 20 series speakers, which looks so good in that highly polished black chrome finish. 12 feet behind his seating for rear channels, John wanted a floor standing speaker that was going to match his setup, so he hooked up these Paradigm Studio 60 V5 reference series speakers but I'm actually loving the two-tone color on these. They're different, powerful, and produce crystal clear sound no matter how and where they are placed. Finishing his speaker setup up above, we have four height speakers, two either side of his screen and another two above his seating, and they are the Paradigm Atom Monitor V7 speakers sitting on wall brackets. In John's opinion, these are Paradigm's best bang for the buck speakers that produce incredible sound for its price and size. Alright, now is something we really got to talk about. You guys must have already seen these hexagonal signature series Paradigm Sub 2 subwoofers weighing at 230 LBs each. John had to hire a van to transport these bad boys, but how good do they look? These award winning vibration cancelling architectural design subwoofers feature 6 10 inch drivers on each sub. Moving more air than a pair of 15 inch woofers with its cutting edge design offering an output of 126 dB at 60 Hz that's connected to a 240 volt line which was upgraded by John delivering a Frankenstein 9000 watts of dynamic peak power through its unique power factor correction system. These subwoofers took over 10 years to design and now you can see why they're the best. At the back of the subwoofer is the world class Ultra D 3kW amplifier which is also known as the Kilomax is actually the most powerful amplifier in the world. So powerful that this happens upstairs. If any of you guys are interested to know more, check out the link which is in the description box down below. And just a side note, these subs are around 13,000 Canadian dollars each. Holy smokes. Let's take a look at his AV rack which is located in a closet across the room. Now this complete 7.2.4 surround sound setup is being powered by the 11.2 channel Avantage Series Yamaha CXA 5100 pre-amplifier. I tell you what guys, this is one amazing but expensive amplifier, well for me anyway, that produces superb sound quality with high-end craftsmanship. Paired with this beast, here we have its best buddy Yamaha MXA5000 11 channel amplifier creating endless clean power to those reference series speakers. Would you look at that? Going down to AV rack, he's also hooked up the Panasonic DBUB A24K player which he recently added for his physical media which are tucked away in a rotating shelf and a cabinet. And last but not least, to the bottom of the rack we have the Oppo UDP 203 4K player that John loves because of its flexibility, picture quality and region free playback capabilities. As you can see, John's equipped some serious gear here and for crazy good signals and cables, he's using Monoprice XLR Premium Interconnects, including subwoofer cables, Seawall Deadbolt banana plugs with 10 gauge new concepts speaker cables, 20 meter IBRA high speed Pro HDMI cables, Monoprice Lux Series active high speed cables, and this IR extender, along with the Harmony One Universal Remote to control his components. Moving on to his screen to the front of the room, he's hooked up the 150 inch LunaVision 235 to 1 reference series 4K screen, which he also recently upgraded from the Karada 126 inch 16.9 screen to eliminate the top and bottom black bars. 
Paired with this gorgeous screen is the ultimate advanced 3 chip design Epson 4010 4K Pro 3D projector that's mounted on a universal extendable mount from Amazon. This projector was upgraded from the Panasonic PTAE 7000 and with a lamp life up to 5000 hours, this 5 star rating projector will definitely change the way you watch your movies, producing crystal clear images like you've never seen before at a very affordable price. John also loves his 3D movies and has not 4 but 8 3D glasses accommodating his family and friends when they come over. For his seating, John's using 5 independent recliners for extra elbow room that's 17 feet away from the screen and if sometimes more seating is required, he brings out some smaller chairs to accommodate his guests. He's also custom built these awesome side tables with cup holders which are made from speaker stands and posters. Very clever. For future plans, John would love to upgrade his 15 year old seats but his 90 pound Bernice Mountain Buckley doesn't agree as he loves curling on the armrest falling asleep when watching movies. If anyone has any suggestions to fix this issue or recommend seating with huge armrests, please drop a comment down below helping out our friend John. He also would love to upgrade his receiver to the Trinov Altitude 16 and go from 7.2.4 to 7.2.6 which means he would also need to add an additional amplifier and something like this Emotiva XBA Gen 3 would be perfect for his LCR. Well there you have it guys, Home Theatre Tours episode 25. I'm glad you made it to the end of the video and sleep well tonight without any nightmares. But this is why I love featuring these unique, exciting, incredible rooms no matter how different they are. Show some love to John and click on that like button for his hard work creating a unique room like this. And of course, his incredible collection deserves to be showcased in a museum of some sort. Another week has flown past and before I take off, let's take a closer look at John's 200 plus model collection. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next feed featuring an Airbnb home like you've never seen before. Peace.